Welcome to today's video. I am going to do a smoky eye that won't age you, or also a smoky eye that doesn't look like you got punched in the face. Also, we could call it a smoky eye. Eh, that's good enough. Um, I am using today the Kat Von D Shade and Light Quad. These are new eye contour quads, and they are at Sephora. They are uh, sort of, they're geared for your eye color, so there's like a purple palette for green eyes and a rusty color palette for blue eyes, and then I can't remember, was it blues for hate, for no, browns for blue eyes, I can't remember. And then there was this shade, which is very, it's kind of like cool gray tones, it said. Um, what is it, smoke, um, for all eye colors. And they were smart to give an extra large taupey shade there for me, because that's gonna be my transition shade. These are, when I saw them on the website and placed my order, I thought maybe they were going to be a little too gray, but I was really pleased to see them in person. They're very neutral. So that taupe has a little bit of a warm and a little bit of a cool. I think it's a perfect taupe. So this might, I mean, I'm not doing anything too unfamiliar to you guys, but if you're new to my channel, maybe this will be enlightening. <laughs> I'm right now looking for a clean brush. Okay, so smoky eye can get really out of hand. And sometimes I feel like I do a smoky eye and then I'll go, oh, I don't, and I think it's a smoky eye, but then maybe in the beauty world it's not considered a smoky eye. So I like a light smoky eye. I think to me, anything that has just a lot of contour and, um, you know, sort of, faded out, shadowed out around the eye. That to me can be a smoky eye. Um, when it's too heavily lined um, and too dark, it just swallows you up. So let's do one today that doesn't swallow you up, okay? I've got a lot of my face already on. Um, I'm going to go in to the, I need a, a mirror. Can I see, okay. I'm gonna go into the taupe. And um, also, smoky eye is about building. For me, it's about building shades because I don't want to go in too, um, too dark right away and then have regrets. <laughs> this is my first Kat Von D eyeshadow. I have not had Kat Von D eyeshadows before. In fact, aside from like a random lipstick and maybe an eyeliner, I found an eyeliner at TJ Maxx once. I don't really have much Kat Von D. The dog is licking the carpet. I have a feeling something spilled there. What is this creasing underneath? Okay, so I really went kind of down all over the lid, not too high but all over the lid because it's a smoky eye. Duh, oh, that sounded so intelligent, Rebecca. Thank you, thank you so much. See how this sh color is like, it's like taupe, but it's like gray. It's really perfect. Okay. And now I'm gonna go in with this gray, this bluish, grayish hue. And I'm gonna just kind of put that in the outer corner, bottom outer corner. You know what I'm talking about. Ooh, that comes across as a lot more kind of bluish gray, doesn't it? I do already have my uh, foundation, concealer, powder, all that stuff on. Smoky eye blending is key. 
I think any time blending is key, but you know. Oof. I'm gonna take a detail, where is a good? I'm gonna take a brush, just a, like a shorter, stubbier brush, and I'm gonna put it in that gray we just did. And I'm going underneath. I am not going to use eyeliner pencil on this look. To me, it just scares me. It's like, no. That's what's gonna make it look really heavy and really, you know, it's gonna weigh you down. Just making sure that's clean. See how it's kind of already smoky? Kind of smoky. Okay. This, um, there is a almost a black shade. Well, it is a black shade. And I'm going to use just a, like a, a really flat edge brush. You can use a eyebrow angled brush if you want. And I'm going to look down and go along my lash line really at the base just to fill them in put it in this white here and go under my eyebrow ever so lightly right there and then I'm gonna also just take a smaller brush I just I like to use smaller brushes for the inner corner. I like just a pop of highlight right there. Not a lot. Because, you know, we are making it smoky, but honestly, having just that little bit of light, shade and light, right? Um, right in the corner will help your eyes look bright. And definitely make sure you have clean, you know, con uh, concealer underneath that you've d cleaned up any fallout and you're not just doing this with, you need a little more of a full face. Now mascara will really do the trick. Now I'm going to touch up with my Anastasia Glow Palette. Because I like glow with a smoky eye. So first I'm just doing sunburst on the high points. Then I'm going to do a wash of dripping in gold kind of on the cheeks. And then I'm gonna do a neutral lip because we don't wanna compete with the eyes. So you're not gonna wear like a red lip or a hot pink. You could, I mean, it'd just be different. What you doing, cat? Oh, this is Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. I like that.
And I'm gonna wear this matte NYX color in Spirit Esprit. Just make sure all your lines are blended. Buxom Gloss in Sophia because I had it. I think it's from Gimme More Lip from Sephora. Glossy nude. Give me some pout. I'm gonna add some Wet n Wild Mai Tai Buy You a drink. Let's see here. And brushes, where are you? Okay, better. Okay, so here is my version of a smoky eye that won't make you look like you got punched in the face and won't age you 10 years. Um, I think it's fun. I think it's actually really neutral and wearable and everyday and definitely on the tame end of a smoky eye. I do love these Kat Von D shadows. I will probably be buying more. No surprise there. If you uh, want to leave me a comment, please do so. And I hope you've subscribed. Click like and share and all that good stuff. And I will see you next video. Bye.